I've been kind of busy and then it was Thanksgiving and I tried to make a video last week but it just didn't work out. Just one of those things. Um, I'm in a new room today filming. I thought I would give it a try in here because I thought maybe there'd be better lighting. Um, I apologize if the background is distracting because there's lots of paintings and pictures and all kinds of stuff in here. So yeah, let me know if you like this room better for me filming in or my little TV room that I was in before. But anyway, today's video, I wanted to talk about my favorite accessory that I've been wearing a lot of, which is cowls. I have been loving cowls recently because it's finally starting to get cold outside, which I am so excited about because it's almost Christmas. Well, it's not almost Christmas. It's like a month till Christmas, but it's officially after Thanksgiving, so I can listen to Christmas music and decorate my house, and it's very exciting. I love Christmas. And it's getting a little bit cooler outside, which means that I can wear more of my knitted things, which always is very exciting because where I live, it never gets too cold, so it's not like I get to wear all of my sweaters and hats and scarves very often. It's usually pretty chill, pretty like, I live near the beach, so it's like 70 degrees pretty much all the time. Um, but recently it's been getting a little bit colder, so I can wear things like hats and scarves, but cowls have been my favorite thing to wear because I just think they're really easy to wear because they're I think they're easier to wear than a scarf because you don't have like the ends that are hanging down and you don't have to worry about like I I don't know I just think they're really easy to wear and also I think they're such a cute thing that you can add to like an outfit like you're wearing just like a t-shirt and jeans but if you throw on a cowl then it's like I just think I just think they make things a little bit cuter so today I wanted to talk about the cowls that I've made recently um, and I'll link all of the Ravelry project pages down below for each of these that I talk about if there is one. Um, yeah, and then some cows that I've just been wearing a lot. Anyway, let's get started. The first one, I guess we'll start with ones that I finished recently. This one is crocheted actually, because I do crochet as well. Um, this is two balls of Barocco Lodge. I hope you'll be able to see this. It's kind of a long one. Um, two balls of Barocco Lodge. Um, I don't remember like what color number or whatever this is. I'll try and figure it out. Um, but what I did basically was I just made a chain as long as I thought it needed to be to wrap around my neck twice. Like that. And then it's basically just double crochets until I ran out of yarn almost and then I finished it off. And I really like this one. I love the colors. It's nice and cozy. Um, Lodge is like a wool and acrylic blend I think. So it'll be warm, but it's not too scratchy or whatever, and I just think it's really pretty. So that's one. I finished this in like two evenings, too, because it was really fast on a size J crochet hook, I think. And I really, really like this one because I think it's so pretty with the pink and the purple and all that. This is a new yarn from Barocco too. And also, it's kind of tweedy. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that in the picture. It's kind of like a tweedy, self-stripey kind of yarn. Really, really like that. I haven't actually worn this one yet because I just finished it. Um, but hopefully I will get to wear it very soon. Second one that I finished recently was this one. And this pattern is called the Destroyed Cowl, which you can see is just a stockinette stitch cowl, but you've got drop stitches on either side. I think it's you drop three stitches on either side. I think this is a free pattern. I'm pretty sure this is a free pattern on Ravelry. Um, and this was super fun to knit. I knit one of these like last year, a while ago. This one I knit by hand, and this one I knit on my knitting machine, which I will tell you about a little bit later, but this one I made about, I don't know, over a year ago. I don't remember what this yarn is. I will try and figure it out. My mom bought it for me when she was on vacation somewhere, and she gave me like two skeins of it, and I can't remember what it is. It's a single ply. It's very similar to like Malabrigo, Merino Worsted, or um, Monos Maxima something like that and it's a hand dyed really really pretty um, so basically what you do is you cast on I don't remember how many stitches you knit in stockinette stitch just a stockinette stitch rectangle until it's however long you want or basically I think I made this one until I was almost out of yarn then you drop stitches on either side and then you cast them back on on the next row and you Kitchener stitch the ends together and it makes like a seamless it's really cool and I love these scarves because I think they're easy to wear and they just look cute I really like this one I love the colors I think these are easy to wear and they're fun and they're cute so that's what I knit by hand 
This is the one I made on my knitting machine, which now that I've done it, now that I have my knitting machine, which I haven't talked to you guys about yet because I bought this a while ago, but I've been really, really getting into it a lot lately. Um, yeah, this is the Bond Ultimate Sweater Machine that I got at Michael's on Super Sale one day. And it has like been my new best friend. I use it all the time. <laughs> I knit a couple sweaters, this cowl, I made a hat, and I'll do a video like separately about all the things I've made on my knitting machine. But I thought it was like the perfect project for the knitting machine because I had one skein of Malabrigo Rios and I think this color is, I do not remember what this color is. Again, all the links for all these patterns and um, the Ravelry Project pages will be down below so you can check it out. But I had one skein of Rios in whatever color this is. Um, so I basically just cast on on my knitting machine, knit until I was almost out of yarn, and then did all the drop stitches and grafting and all that by hand. And this took like half an hour to make this, guys. It was so rewarding and fun and I want to make like a thousand more, but I'll have to scour through my stash and see what I have. But this is another one that I've been wearing this one probably the most because I've been loving these colors. They're great for fall. It's kind of like orangey and a dark eggplanty purple and you see all those pretty colors. I love this scarf and Rios is a great yarn because it's so nice and soft and I have just been really really liking this one. So another one that I've been wearing a lot lately is another crocheted one. This is one that I made last year. It's a little bit of a shorter one. This is in Malabrigo Merino Worsted so it's their plain um, single ply and I don't remember what color this is but again all the Ravelry project pages will be down below. Um, I knit this one. I didn't knit this one. I crocheted this one, guys. Um, I crocheted this one a while ago, and I basically did the same kind of thing as the other crocheted one. I just did a chain until it was about as long as I wanted. This one I didn't want to, like, double up. I just wanted kind of a longer scarf cowl kind of thing. Um, and I think these are double crochets. I don't remember what I did. Um, but it's so soft and cozy because Malabrigo is the best and it's so nice and warm and cozy and I love it. So yeah, I've been wearing this one a lot lately because this is a very wearable color. It's this kind of tealy, blue, green kind of, I just really, really like it and it goes with a lot of stuff. So there's that one. And the last one I have to talk about is this one. This is a pattern by Jane Richmond and I believe this is called Marion. I'll have to double check. Um, but this is in, there are a lot of Malabrigo cowls. This is in Malabrigo Rasta, which is one of my favorite yarns. It is so fun because it's a big, thick, single ply, really easy and fun to knit. I think this was on like size 15 or 17 or some giant needles like that. And I have been loving wearing this one. It's a really pretty purple and green color. Again, I don't remember what the color is called, but I'll write everything down below. And this is like a faux Mobius, a Phobius, because it's got one whole twist in it, as you can see, which was really easy to do. You just basically cast on all your stitches, you put a twist in it, you know, like when you knit a hat and it says, make sure you don't twist your stitches, you twist your stitches on purpose, and yeah, so it's kind of fun to wear, because it's got this twist in it, and this was super, super fast, because it was on giant needles, one skinny yarn, and yeah. This one's really nice and soft and cozy, and I haven't worn this one as much, because, um, it's really, really warm, so hopefully I will get to wear it if it gets cooler outside. But that's all the cowls that I have to show you guys today. Um, I hope you liked this video. Comment below if you have a favorite accessory that you've barely been liking, or a favorite cowl, or whatever. Send me a link to your project page, or add me as a friend on Ravelry. I would love that. Um, if you want to subscribe to my videos, you can click the link right above. Um, yeah, and that's it for me today, guys. Stay tuned for a video all about my knitting machine. Hopefully I'm not lying to you and telling you that I'll make this video, but I really want to make a video all about my knitting machine because I have been using it a lot lately. Anyway, that's it for me today, guys, and I hope you're all having a lovely day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!